Welcome to Weather Plus Hurricane Central In-Depth. I'm meteorologist Bill Karen. It'll be nice to kind of do a little behind the scenes into the forecast as we go through what I now call the hurricane season. Now we got action out there. Probably will continue through at least the middle of October. First system we're watching is actually in the Pacific. This is actually Hurricane Flossie. It was a powerful hurricane, Category 4 storm at one point. The storm has begun to die down a little bit as expected. The shear has taken a little bit of a toll on it, especially coming from the south to the north. You can see the system's looking a little more ragged, not quite as symmetrical. Water temperatures aren't going to be too much of a problem for this system. Still looking about 78, 79 degrees just south of the Big Island, but it'll mostly be the shear and water temperatures that are borderline that knock it down to a Category 2. All the computer models I've been looking at here mostly take this system to the south, about 50 to 100 miles. The Big Island of Hawaii, very mountainous, could deal with some flash flooding and mudslide problems. It's uh, got a lot of high elevations there with all the volcanoes. Hilo, some rain for you, maybe some large waves. A lot of the surfers will probably actually be happy with this system. And the Hawaiian Islands could use some rain. I don't think this is going to be a big devastating system for the Hawaiian Islands. The next storm system we're going to talk about here is going to be out here in the central Atlantic. This is the storm that I think is the one everyone's going to be talking about in the days ahead. This is Tropical Depression 4. This has been a powerful wave. Everyone's been talking about this behind the closed doors in the weather community because our computer models had this all the way out from a week ago and now it's actually coming true. The other thing all the computers say with this one, it's going to head towards land. I've almost, I haven't really seen any computer models that have taken this out to sea safely. It's either going through the Caribbean, heading towards either the Gulf or maybe even the East Coast of the United States. That's why this is the system to watch. Probably the biggest system to watch, probably since going back to 2005 with Wilma. Ernesto last year really didn't cause us too many problems. The system right now still looking a little ragged, still a little bit sheared. It will develop in the days ahead, though. It is expected the shear will lessen as it travels across the Atlantic to become a tropical storm and then a hurricane. The key to this forecast will be as the high pressure ridge breaks down to the north of it in about four to five days from now, if it takes a little bit of turn to the north. If it goes north of, say, Puerto Rico, watch out on the east coast. If it ducks south of Puerto Rico, we're talking about a system that will be in the Caribbean and possibly the Gulf into the middle of next week. That will be a big deal and something we're going to have to watch. Finally, the other little thing, hurricane hunters tomorrow are probably going to go out and investigate a little area of low pressure spinning just north of the Yucatan. The upper level low still has very hostile conditions in the Gulf. Don't really think it's going to be too much of a problem, but it will have about 24 to 36 hours to develop once it gets to about the central and western portions of the Gulf. All that wet weather and rain will head to South Texas, possibly as a tropical depression. At most, I'll have to think a tropical storm. We'll update all this again for you tomorrow here on Weather Plus Hurricane Central in depth.